Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Jurassic Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Jurassic Park Dino Showdown Pachyrhinosaurus Clash Toys R Us exclusive set from 2013. I'm very excited to review this because along with the Allosaurus, the Pachyrhinosaurus was released at the same time. We got these two very awesome dinosaurs, highly detailed, excellent quality, and uh, they're certainly some of the highlights of my personal Jurassic Park collection, even though they're more recent. They're a far cry from Hasbro's Jurassic World toy line, but Hasbro, this is the quality that we like to see. We need more of these guys because they're just so so cool looking at the packaging as i mentioned in the previous video i love it this is my favorite packaging for the jurassic park toys ever since the very first line from 1993 this definitely comes in second because i really like the tropical aesthetic that it has it's got a green and yellow color scheme you get a look at the paddock there's a little bit of a gate inside the background insert really love the flora and fauna down at the bottom you get the caution lines there just kind of warning you that the pachyrhinosaurus can be a little rowdy so just be careful it says try me right there at the bottom side of the box has some really cool artwork of the dino tracker facing off with the pachyrhinosaurus it says dino showdown opposite side has a mirror image of that same artwork the top says pachyrhinosaurus clash and then it's says the bite is back and at the bottom you get your UPC uh, you get some other information that is uh, listed down here as far as other items in this line the dino growlers we have previously looked at the velociraptor we got the t-rex coming on our next review there's a dino showdown assortment which includes the allosaurus assault that we looked at previously you also get the dino battlers which are the smaller dinosaur two packs repaints from the jp3 toy line and uh, I did see several of these last year at my local Toys R Us Express. Back of the box is equally terrific. Really love the vibrant yellow colors. It's got something of a Jurassic Park looking embossed logo. It says the dinosaurs are back. These savage beasts battle for supremacy in the wildest place on earth, Jurassic Park. And you can see the dino tracker with the machine gun and the pachyrhinosaurus. Pachyrhinosaurus is a little exaggerated compared to the actual toy. Uh, it's definitely airbrushed. Pull leg back for head ramming action. And then for the Pachyrhinosaurus, it says power 10, intelligence 5, speed 5, special full force head ram. Don't know what that's supposed to mean, but hey, we'll take it. Look there at the Dino Tracker. His name is Gunner Gordon, which is interesting. There's no uh, trademark or copyright symbol next to it, so it must not be too guarded. Uh, it says that he is a soldier slash mercenary. Military tactics are a specialty, and his weapon is a machine gun. Yeah, we can see that. And I would venture a guess that the machine gun is probably the most effective against the Pachyrhinosaurus. And interestingly, the packaging, as far as these inserts go, are very similar to the Jurassic World toy line, what with these uh, clear plastic bits on the inside and then the sort of band that uh, goes around and holds the dinosaur in place. So I'm really excited to get this out of the packaging. If it's anything near as awesome as the Allosaurus was, and I assume that it is, then uh, this is going to be a treat. Um, for you guys probably, but also for me especially. So let me go ahead and get that taken care of and then we'll take a closer look at the Pachyrhinosaurus. All right, you guys, and here are the contents out of the packaging. And as you can see, this is already a stunning looking piece. We're gonna go ahead and focus first on Gunner Gordon, and then we will take a look at the dinosaur. So the figure itself isn't half bad. It's basically like a G.I. Joe sort of figure, just like we saw with the one that came with Allosaurus. It has a pretty good sculpt. The outfit is pretty nice looking, very clean. There's not a whole lot of weathering going on, and it's got quite a bit of articulation. And of course, it's machine gun. Going to give you an up-close look at Gunner Gordon, and uh, I like the head sculpt. It's got a lot of personality to it. I mean, he seriously looks like somebody that means business. I like it. It's, it's actually really good. And uh, the hair, look at the painted detail on there. That looks really nice. They did a good job with this. If only they could take that and apply it to other toy lines. Um, the outfit itself, like I said, very simplistic, but, you know, very combat-oriented uh, with the uh, camo greens and uh, the jacket metallic looking shoulder pads. He's got gloves, he's got elbow pads that are also metallic looking. And then he's got green knee pads and boots. And all around this looks very nice. You do get some screw holes on the insides of the legs, but uh, it's whatever. Uh, now in terms of articulation, there is quite a bit of it. You got a ball joint here at the head, ball joints at both of the shoulders, ball hinging at both of the elbows. You can swivel him at both of the wrists. He's got a ball hinge at the torso while hinging at both of the hips. And they're a little bit loose, but uh, you know they work okay. You can do a pretty good split and uh, they go forward very nicely. 
double bends at both of the knees and then uh, ball hinging at both of the ankles. So a very nicely articulated G.I. Joe style figure. As far as weapons and accessories are concerned, he does come with his machine gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up. And it looks pretty good. It's basically just balancing like that. So if you just wanted to bring your gun or Gordon figure over and just have him hunched down like he's shooting at dinosaurs, you could do that. He can also hold it. So you do have options here. As we turn our attention here to the Pachyrhinosaurus, you can see that this is a very detailed sculpt. There's a lot going on. The paint is quite colorful. This is definitely a very armored looking dinosaur and one you don't want to run into if you're out strolling around Isla Nubar. From all angles, I do gotta say that this looks very, very nice. Very sturdy kind of plastic. It has a pretty good weight to it. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the way that it looks. Let me go ahead and give you a close up here of the animal's head. And just look at that detail. Wow, that, that's astonishing that a company that gave us a Jurassic World line was able to do this, you know, just a, a couple of short years before that. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. And of course, this was sculpted by Dave Silva, who does a really good job in pretty much anything that he does. And uh, I really like what they did here. It just looks very, very detailed, which I'm a huge fan of. Look at that. It's got these horns up here on its top of the frill. Um, the coloration. It's very detailed. I mean, there, there's a lot of color in there. Uh, very good quality paint application for sure. The eyes look very nice, pretty uh, lifelike. And uh, I just really like what he did here. This is just so, so, so nice. Wow, this, this just feels like quality. I mean, it doesn't feel like anything that Hasbro does nowadays. It just has a very good solid feel to it. And just looking at its body, all that detail that it's got on there, the legs. Look at its feet. I mean, that, that's really, really something. The coloration is kind of like this clay sort of color. And uh, of course you get the blues, you get the yellows, you get the, the dark, uh, I guess he's, this is like brown, like a brownish black sort of color. And um, just all in all, it looks fantastic. I really like these stripes that it has on its legs. Those are very nice. And uh, the JP logo, of course, there on its uh, hind leg. And uh, you can see its neck in there. Absolutely fantastic, extremely, extremely impressive. And wow, I absolutely love what I am seeing here. I love, love, love this. So awesome. Now we do have an action feature, of course. And the way that you do it is uh, you're gonna pull back on its hind right leg like this. Then it rams its head forward. It's a little noisy, but it works pretty well. Unlike the Allosaurus, which the action feature on that didn't work all that well, as you saw. This actually works very well. And that action feature works the same way as the Kenner, the Lost World Triceratops that we looked at during the Lost World week. As far as other points of articulation, well, you can move the legs. Um, you can't move this one because that's integrated into the action feature, but you can move all of the other ones. So, you know, you can pose it. A little bit but it's very sturdy so even if you don't have the legs perfectly flat on the surface uh, it still stands very well you can also move the head independently from the neck joint which is really cool so you could stand it kind of like you know like it's rubbing its head on the ground sort of thing or you know even if you have it forward you can have it kind of a little bit more up or it's looking a little bit more in an upward position or you can angle it down to where its beak is touching the ground so I mean that's really cool I mean, I think that uh, I would prefer it if the head looked a little bit more like up as opposed to being so low, but it, it's still a very nice looking piece. Um, you can move it around. It just kind of, I, I wish it would, it sat a little bit higher, maybe something like that, but it, it doesn't, it goes down. You also get an articulated jaw, which is very, very cool. You can see that it's got a tongue in there and a little bit of sculpted detail. That is awesome. Just an extra little touch there. That probably wasn't really necessary, but because they did it, that's great. Now we also get dino damage because this wouldn't be a Jurassic Park dinosaur without the dino damage. And it actually looks pretty good. This is pretty realistic as far as dino damage goes for a Jurassic Park toy. Um, you can see it looks very much like muscle. We don't get any bones this time, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's different shades of red in there so they definitely paid it some good attention and then we get the dino damage piece right here 
and uh, you can see that it's got these grooves and basically what you're going to do is just kind of line it up just like that and it fits perfectly very seamless very clean it's not obnoxious like with the original Jurassic Park dinosaurs um, and it's really great that you can cover it up and then you just use your thumbnail to pull it up there's a little tab that sticks out at the bottom just uh, pull it up like that and uh, you have dino damage again. Now in terms of size, we're looking at about 10 and a half inches for the Pachyrhinosaurus. It stands at about four and a half inches tall. The width of the animal is about three inches and then the human figure stands at about four and a quarter inches. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Jurassic Park Dino Showdown Pachyrhinosaurus Clash along with Gunner Gordon. All in all, you guys, this is a fantastic set, very exquisite, and something that is probably something you're gonna wanna add to your collection if you're a Jurassic Park collector. If you don't already have this, you really need it. It's been out of stores for some time now, so if you want one, you'll need to go through the secondary market. I had to pay a little bit of a premium in order to get it, but you know what, it's totally worth it. And you can usually find this one for less money than the Allosaurus. I just think this is an example of what Hasbro can do if they really have their mindset on creating a stellar product. They can do it. They have the resources to do it. They have the knowledge. I'm sure they have the people. All they got to do is do it. And I think as consumers, we need to ask that they keep giving us products like this because this is what us JP collectors want. This is Kenner quality. It's just a stellar set all the way around. The dinosaur itself has a phenomenal sculpt. They did a fantastic job bringing about all of the details that are in here. You can see all of the little fine lines, wrinkles, creases, striations in this dinosaur. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The coloration is also very nice in my opinion. Action feature works very well. Only negative thing I have to say about it is that I do wish that the head was able to be held a little bit higher off the ground. The figure itself is pretty nice it's very much a generic gi joe sort of figure but it's really cool that they're packing in something of this quality in with the dinosaur gunner gordon has a very nice sculpt he's painted very nicely articulation is great but it is a little bit too loose especially in those leg joints they just kind of wiggle around all over the place making him a little bit hard to stand and to pose the weapon he comes with the machine gun is nice i would have liked to have seen a few more accessories maybe like a knife or a little pistol just something else in here but the machine gun works just all the way around, both the Allosaurus and the Pachyrhinosaurus for these Dino Showdown sets Hasbro did in 2013 are very solid. All the way around, both of these dinosaurs are perhaps the most detailed dinos that either Hasbro or Kenner has ever done for Jurassic Park. And I love it. The extra detail, the extra paint, the articulation is a very natural progression for this line. And I hope that going forward, we get quality from Hasbro that lives up to what these two dinosaurs are because they're absolutely out of this world. And these aren't just great Jurassic Park toys. These are great dinosaur toys. They're great toys all around. Superb quality. And once again, if you're a Jurassic Park toy collector, your collection is incomplete unless you have the Pachyrhinosaurus in your collection. You gotta have it. Go out and check it out if you don't. All right, my friends, if you've enjoyed this video, then I absolutely encourage you to please like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the Jurassic Park Dino Showdown Pachyrhinosaurus, whether or not this is something you have in your collection or will be adding to it. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for the latest news and updates. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Victoria's Cantina. Till next time, my friends. Bye-bye.